Hi, I'm Simi Pasha and you're watching In Depth. Our focus today is on the gruesome 2002 Gujarat riots that led to the death of about a thousand people, mostly Muslims. Some say this is a conservative figure and the actual death toll was much higher. More than 2,500 people were injured, about 20,000 homes and businesses were destroyed and 360 places of worship were ravaged in one of the worst communal riots India has seen since independence. The two biggest massacres took place at Gulbarg Society and in Naroda Patia in Ahmedabad. The Gulbarg Society in Chamanpura had a predominantly Muslim population. The housing complex was surrounded by a mob of over 5,000 people who breached the boundary wall, started looting homes, setting them on fire and attacking residents. 69 people were killed in the massacre that lasted for almost six hours. Congress MP Esan Jafri, along with 35 others, was hacked to pieces and then burned. The Naroda Patia massacre took place during a bunt call made by the Vishwa Hindu Parishad a day after the Godhara train burning. A mob allegedly organized by the Bajrang Dal unleashed violence in Naroda Patia, looting, stabbing, sexually assaulting and burning people individually and in groups. 97 people were killed in the riot. Our top story, BJP leader Maya Kodnani sentenced to 28 years behind bars for leading the biggest massacre in the 2002 Gujarat riots has been acquitted by the Gujarat High Court. The court overturned the verdict of a special SIT court which had held Kodnani guilty of inciting the mob, distributing swords and other arms and organizing the riot in Naroda Patia that left 97 people dead. Her acquittal comes on the back of BJP chief Amit Shah's testimony in her favour. Scenes at the Naroda Patia on February 28, 2002. 97 people murdered in cold blood after a train carrying pilgrims was torched in Gujarat's Godhra, killing over 50 people. And after 16 years, the Gujarat High Court has acquitted Maya Kodnani, a former minister accused of inciting mobsters at Naroda Patia. These 11 witnesses had a contradiction. So in this case, they can't believe them. They can't believe them. And the police witness, one of the police witness, didn't say that we have seen Maya Kodnani. Relying on the detailed investigations carried out by Ajtak, the High Court found 21 others, including Babu Bajrangi, guilty, but commuted his sentence to 21 years from a life term he was given in 2012. Maya's personal assistant, Kapil Singh Chabra, who, like her, was convicted by the trial court in 2012, was also acquitted. Last year, BJP chief Amit Shah, who was brought in as a witness in the case, had testified that he saw Maya at the Gujarat Assembly before the massacre took place. The High Court in its verdict noted that the 11 witnesses who testified against Maya Kudnani had not named her initially when the case was filed. The trial court had convicted Maya and sentenced her for 28 years. Police ke sabhi statements mein kisi ne bhi ye na kaha ki Maya bin ki upasthiti maha thi. The families of victims are shocked over the acquittal. Maya Kudnani's acquittal comes days after Swami Asimanan was also set free in the Mecca Masjid blast case. A few cases in the in recent days are smacking of uh, this pandering to the powers that be and I think it's a very dangerous portent for our uh, democracy. We should all be very uh, anxious about this development. 
The SIT has 90 days to challenge the verdict in the Supreme Court. It remains to be seen if it does so. With Jumana Shah and Kamlesh Sutar, Bureau Report, India Today. The Naroda Patia riots were deemed as the largest single case of mass murder during the 2002 Gujarat riots. It accounted for the greatest number of deaths during a single event of rioting. About 97 people were killed, women were raped, daily wagers living in the settlement were stabbed to death and some burnt alive. Ten years later, a special SIT court sentenced Maya Kodnani, who was a minister in then CM Narendra Modi's cabinet, to 28 years behind bars along with 32 others. Here are more details of that case. Twenty seventh February two thousand two. A train filled with Hindu pilgrims returning to Gujarat from Ayodhya pulls into Godhra railway station. The small, inconspicuous town with a forty percent Muslim population was known to be prone to communal clashes. Hindu activists had reportedly been chanting religious slogans. An argument with Muslim residents leads to a scuffle. Within minutes, Coach S6 ignites. 59 pilgrims are killed. Twenty-eight February 2002. Vishwa Hindu Parishad's call for a statewide strike against the Godhra drain burning incident came into effect. Although the Supreme Court had declared such strikes to be legal and unconstitutional, the state administration made no move against it. Within hours, mobs of Hindus went on a rampage, raping, looting, and killing hundreds of Muslims, blaming them for the death of pilgrims on board the Sabarmati Express. I'll never forget this one scene where we were walking on the road and suddenly we saw this group of youngsters throw acid at this girl. And it was, you know, it was something that you couldn't imagine. We saw petrol bombs being thrown from one house to the other. Two of the biggest massacres took place in and around the capital, Ahmedabad, at Gulbarg Society, where 67 people were killed and in Naroda Patia, where 97 people were killed by a mob. On the morning of 28 February, a mob of 5,000 people reportedly attacked Naroda Patia, a settlement of about 2,000 daily wage earners, mostly Muslims. Rioting reportedly began when the Nurani Mosque was destroyed using LPG cylinders. Eyewitnesses say they saw Muslims being looted, hacked, stabbed, and raped. Some even claim people were burnt alive, individually and in groups, where they were chased into pits and set ablaze. Women and young girls were sexually assaulted and raped. Reports say LPG cylinders were used to destroy several buildings and residencies. The massacre lasted for 10 hours, unchecked, following which a curfew was imposed. 97 people were killed, all of whom were Muslims. The dead included 36 women, 35 children and 26 men. By the time we reached Naroda Patia, the massacre had already occurred, uh, the killing of more than 90 people. Uh, you could see smoke in different parts of the, uh, uh, of the area. There was a grayness to the sky, I remember. Maya Kodnani, a minister in the CM Narendra Modi's cabinet, an MLA from Naroda, was accused by the Supreme Court appointed special investigation team of inciting the mob and distributing swords. She, along with Bajrang Dal leader Babu Bajrangi, were spotted by many at the scene of crime, a fact that was reconfirmed by 11 eyewitnesses during the course of the trial. In August 2012, a special court for SIT sentenced 32 people, including Maya Kodnani, to life imprisonment. 
Gurnani was sentenced to jail for 28 years for her role in the single bloodiest episode of the 2002 Gujarat riots. The court also held her guilty of organizing the mass killings. Another high-profile accused, Bajranga leader, Babu Bhai Patel, also known as Babu Bajrangi, was given life imprisonment till death with a condition of remission. Seven accused were given enhanced life imprisonment of 21 years to be served after undergoing 10 years imprisonment under IPC Section 326. The remaining were given life sentence for 14 years. The trial court also acquitted 29 other accused for want of evidence. All the convicts had challenged the lower court's verdict in the Gujarat High Court. The SIT too filed a petition seeking stricter punishment against three convicts, including Babu Bajrangi. The Supreme Court appointed SIT has also appealed against seven accused, who were acquitted by the special court. Maya Kudnani's acquittal by the Gujarat High Court on Friday came as a shock to journalists who had witnessed the riot. I don't know whether she was the mastermind and I'm willing to concede possibly that she wasn't the mastermind. But to suggest that this violence took place in the heart of her constituency without her knowledge and without her making enough effort to stop it, huge question marks uh, over that. What will be interesting to see now is whether the SIT will challenge Kodnani's acquittal in the Supreme Court. Kodnani, remember, is considered to be a powerful BJP insider and BJP President Amit Shah had testified as a defence witness in the trial in 2017. The Gujarat High Court on Friday gave a clean chit to Maya Kodnani, someone who had been identified by the lower court as the person who orchestrated killings in Naroda Patia. Who is Maya Kodnani? How close is she to the BJP leadership given that party president Amit Shah testified as her defence witness last year? Take a look. From a simple gynaecologist to a poster girl for the RSS. From a powerful politician and minister in CM Narendra Modi's cabinet to a convict found guilty of inciting a mob which massacred 97 people in Naroda Patia during the 2002 Gujarat riots to now being acquitted. Maya Kodnani's life has been far from ordinary. The daughter of a staunch RSS worker, Maya Kodnani began her political innings as a municipal councillor in 1995. Within three years, she staked claim for a BJP ticket in the assembly elections. She was elected three times from the Naroda constituency as an MLA for the BJP. In 2000, she became the first woman president of the Ahmedabad BJP, a position she retained till 2005. When the gruesome 2002 Gujarat riots took place, Maya Kodnani was a minister in Narendra Modi's cabinet and an MLA from Naroda. 97 Muslims, including women and children, were brutally murdered by a mob in Naroda Patia massacre and Kodnani was convicted of instigating rioters and orchestrating the killings. Witnesses testified that they had seen Kodnani at the scene of the crime, handing out swords to Hindu rioters, encouraging them to attack Muslims and at one point, she reportedly even fired a pistol. Bajrang Dal members, including Babu Bajrangi, were caught on spy camera telling journalists that Kodnani drove around Naroda all day, urging the mob to hunt Muslims down and kill them. Mobile phone records also placed her at the scene of crime and showed her to be in regular communication with not just top police officials, but also the Home Minister and the Chief Minister's office. Kodnani was also accused of instigating riots in Naroda Gam, where 11 people were killed. Here too, she was accused of firing a pistol and distributing arms that she had allegedly transported to Naroda in her car. Despite the accusations, Kodnani's ascent to power continued after the riots. Mentored by none less than BJP patriarch LK Advani, she won the 2002 elections by a thumping majority. Immune to the riot stain, 
Kodani's growth continued and in 2007 she was elevated to MOS for Women and Child Development. In 2009, Kodani was summoned by the Supreme Court Special Investigation Team appointed to probe the Gujarat riots. She ignored the summons and was declared an absconder. Kodani was eventually forced to hang her political boots, resigned from her ministerial post and surrendered, following which she was arrested. The arrest marked the end of Kodani's political career. In 2012, Kodani was convicted of murder and conspiracy to murder and sentenced to 28 years behind bars. The court judgment which identified her as the kingpin of the Naroda Patia massacre pushed the final nail in her coffin. Maintaining that the charges against her were politically motivated, Kodani moved the High Court for regular bail. Her request was granted on health grounds. In 2017, BJP decided to put its most powerful man behind Maya Kodnani. Amit Shah, BJP president, took to the witness box to testify in support of her. Shah deposed for nearly 40 minutes as Kodnani's defence witness. The BJP chief told the court that Kodnani was present with him in the state assembly as the constituency went up in flames. The Gujarat High Court on Friday acquitted Maya Kodnani in the 2002 Naroda Patia massacre. The High Court gave Kodnani the benefit of doubt, saying no criminal conspiracy could be established. That's all we could pack into this edition of In Depth. You can revisit our stories on indiatoday.in. News and updates continue right here. Do stay with us. Thanks for watching the video. For more such news and updates, please like, share and subscribe to India Today. Also check out our other great videos from our channel. We know you would love to.